Hey there, folks. I'm Kevin Tracy, host of ktracy.com and also the creator of the MS Paint comic. And you are in the host of ktracy.com and the MS Paint comics creator's garage. Anyways, um, I'm here today to do some porn. And by porn, I mean unboxing porn, because apparently people on YouTube have nothing better to do but get off on this kind of stuff. So today I'm unboxing this. Why isn't this working? Mm. Ah! Okay, well that worked. Um, so this is the um, a Hitachi router. I got this because um, I'm working on a project and I've been using my Dremel tool as my router, um, except I'm getting to the point now where it's a little bit under power and undersized for some of the applications that I want to do. Uh, so anyways, this is the, um, you know, I should have looked at the model number before I did the video. I apologize for that. This is just great filmmaking right here, I know. Um, bum, 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 bum. Reading upside down. Okay, this you know, it's, this might be the KM12VC. Yeah, I'm guessing this is the KM12VC. It says so right here. Right there. If you can't see that, it's right here. So uh, anyways, hold on KVC. Let's open this thing. Oh, I probably should mention, got this thing at Menards. Gosh, this is really kind of ruining the shot, isn't it? Kind of big and in the way. So I got this thing at Menards. Um, it was a, uh, like I said, something I needed for the garage and for the shop uh, in order to keep on doing some of my woodworking projects. Um, I picked it up for $120, $124 with the 11% off rebate. So it's going to come, wait a minute, no, that was after the rebate. Yeah, it's going to be 128 after the rebate. I think I had it for 150 um, roughly. So uh, anyways, um, yeah, let's get this thing open up and start this porno, huh? All right, so uh, the box opens up like a box. It's kind of nice. There's no, um, like, I guess, security thing in here that you have to cut or anything. There's no, it's not glued tight, so you have to, like, rip open, rip it open, and there's no tape or anything. Um, so that's my dog, Porthos. Um, he thinks that I got ripped off, but I didn't. I got it from Menards, and all the boxes were this way. So uh, nothing you have, you don't need scissors. So um, if, you have, if you need a router but don't have scissors, you're in really good shape here. It you know, probably also makes it easier to return this thing. All right. Oh, this thing's a little bit on the heavy side. Let me try this again. Like putting the box on the ground. Okay. I didn't put the box on the ground. So this is the box again. No tape or anything. Just uh, in here. This is the tool. Um, the box might look blackish on the uh, video. Um, you might see a tint of green. That's because this thing is actually a tint of green. I would say it's like a bluish Christmas tree green. Um, not the prettiest color I've ever seen, but again, I don't really care. This is uh, probably going to sit underneath a workbench and never be used again after I get everything unpacked and set up. Um, I don't... Some of you may... Um, this is really nice, actually. Ooh, I should lay this down before I open it. Oh, all the way. Um, it's kind of a nice case, actually, if uh, you're interested in that kind of thing. You can't see what I just did. Okay, so this is what comes inside of the box. Um, you have your um, base plate down here. Maybe a second base plate, because there's one already attached to the router. All right, this is the... It's kind of flimsy plastic that it came wrapped in, but that's okay, because this tool looks like it's... Um, ooh, this is like... I thought this was plastic, but it's not. It's actually metal. That's nice. Um, this part right here feels like plastic or maybe epoxy or something. It's, it feels harder than plastic, but, um, yes, yeah, so this is obviously the, um, uh, fixed, uh, router attachment. Um, from what I understand, um, this thing will come out. This is the router's already inside of here. From what I understand, if I, again, I'm doing this all one-handed, so I take that out and then I... This kind of requires two hands, doesn't it? If I were to take that out, I could twist this out. You can kind of see it twisting here. And if I could do that better with a second hand, oh, there we go, I can use leverage. Yeah. Okay, well, take my word for it. I'm pretty sure this twists out once I have it unlocked like I do right now. And then when I twist that out, I could then have the option of putting it in this thing. Again, wrapped in plastic. 
This is a plunge router attachment that came for the router. Um, and I, from, it's probably a lock or something in the back here. There is. So I'm guessing that works exactly the same way, except this allows me to um, uh, plunge the router down into wood. That's pretty cool. So uh, we got the big stuff out of the way. So one router and fixed router attachment and one plunge router attachment, plus the uh, extra plate here. Um, it looks like an extra wide plate. Okay, so we have that stuff. Uh, it does come with instructions. Um, yeah, so um, if you want oh, to use the plunge router base, this is just the model with the uh, fixed router base. Instructions come in, looks like, three languages. Uh, yes, it comes in three languages, English, French, and Spanish. Uh, so if you're German or Russian or Ukrainian or anything else, uh, you're going to need to uh, get it, it, your Google Translate on, I guess. All right, so, um, and then same thing goes for this, too, it looks like. Well, yeah, it's English... French and Spanish. So, and if you're wondering, uh, yes, I can read the name of all the languages in their native language. So that's pretty cool. All right, so uh, they come pack packaged with uh, some sort of spongy thing here, I guess, to absorb the shock for the plunge router base. I'm not sure why that was necessary, but they felt that it was, so that's great. Um, included in this bag over here. Um, so you have some oil kind of in it. Um, this is like the collets, maybe? Yeah, this is like the collets for the uh, router. This comes with an Allen wrench, too, it looks like. And a wrench. So you got the... I got several wrenches in here. I got several wrenches in here, I think. I apologize for the shoddy camera work. Um, all right, and then... Looks like you have some attachments um, in here as well cool beans. I never actually owned a proper router before, so it's kind of neat. And then I have um, one of these. I'm sure it, in the instructions it says what this is used for, but I don't know offhand. Okay, what is not included in here that's probably worth mentioning is that there are no bits. Um, uh, one thing I do know about routers, even though I don't know much, is that in order to use them, you need a bit in the router to, you know, bite the wood, bit the wood. Sure. Okay. Any route the wood, but then you need a bit. Okay. Anyways, uh, I'm going to stop worrying about the uh, language schematics of this and uh, just tell you that there are no bits in here. However, there are um, things in here for this. So if you have um, one, two, three, four, one quarter inch bits and four half inch bits, um, and this is the size of the shank, I'm guessing, because by the size of this, you stick the shank in here and this just sits up, right? Um, there is space for eight different bits. Um, I, I'm sure there's sizes for uh, collets for both uh, quarter inch and half inch bits um, in here. Let's take a look closer to see if we can find that. I don't want to. I guess I probably could. This is an unboxing video, so I can twist this off one-handed. This is why you're watching, right? So you can see me try to struggle with one hand as I untwist the twist tie. Believe it or not, I do actually have nimble fingers. Years of typing on a keyboard, I'm sure. Okay, so what comes in here? We have um, two wrenches. Oh, I'm twist I'll worry about that later. Okay, it's so the collets. Um, I see one collet in here. The Allen wrench. One collet, Allen wrench. Um, Center engage, maybe? Doesn't quite fit in there. Okay, well, it doesn't quite fit in there. We'll worry about that later in the instructions. Allen wrench, um, collet. Oh, maybe this adjusts to a uh, quarter inch and a half inch. Yeah, that's probably what it does. All right. Um, and then we also have the wrenches in here. So again, you get to see my nimble fingers in action. Um, you're getting off on this, you're sick. Uh, let's see here. You know, I want you to observe that I am right-handed. I am doing this left-handed because I'm holding the camera with my right hand. Why I'm doing that, I'm not sure. 
Of course, you think you'd have better camera work if I was uh, holding this with my right hand, but. All right, I think I got it. Bastard. All right. And in here come two wrenches for a 23 and a 16. Um, okay, so I want to see what's in here as well. So I'll go ahead and open this bag. I'll just put this over here because it's uh, the clean area. Oh man, this guys. All right. All right. I need better at that. That's the last one, huh? Okay. Yep. And these are the. Um, you know, I really should know what these are called. Um, I think it's like a guide almost. Um, so you tighten this onto the thing, and if you want like a guide on the router, um, you can use this. Uh, it's probably for creating inlays and things like that, depending on the width of the um, uh, router bit that you're using for the uh, cut. That's my guess, at least, for what these are. I'm not sure what they're called exactly, but uh, when I read the instructions, I'll find out how to use them and everything else. So, anyways, um, this is the Hitachi, what did I say, 12KM, KM 12VC, KM whatever. Um, Probably should look at the box once more uh, to see. <laughs> yeah, bad camera work. Again, I apologize. Um, yeah, KM12VC. Um, I'll get this right in the video description anyway, so I guess it really doesn't matter what I say right here. Um, all in all, this feels like a really um, heavy router. Again, I've never owned one before, but I've used them before. Um, this feels substantial. This isn't like the... the this part right here is plastic, this uh, handle. It's like a heavy duty. I think there's like something in here too that's not just the plastic, but I think the plastic is just kind of providing a grip. Um, this feels very substantial, um, even the plastic part up here. Uh, the rest of this is um, um, steel, I think, really heavy steel, or uh, the motor up here, or this uh, plastic, this is plastic up here it feels like. Yeah, the rest of this though, holy cow, this is like substantial and you know heavy duty equipment. I'm very pleased with this. So um, it feels like I got a nice tool. I'll start giving it um, some work. We'll see how it handles it, and um, I'll report back to you on how I like this thing.